College will open new paths for you, is what my mom had always said. I took those words to heart, despite my usual cynicism. Even as my high school friends drifted away from me over the years, and the stresses of moving out and living alone mountain, I continued to believe in them. Then came today. The meeting with the advisor was never going to go well. Academic probation isn't a term thrown around in good circumstances. Even with all that, a 1.2 GPA was a surprise. Five whole credits. After cruising through school before college, it feels like a bad joke when I repeat his coldly delivered words in my head. My heart sinking. I finally close the door behind me. A chapter of my life closes with it. Hi, Mom. Hi, Olive. How's it going? I just got back from talking to my advisor. What did he say? It's... I have a 1.2 GPA. Only five credits. It's okay. This doesn't mean the end. I know someone as smart as my Ollie can find a way. If I pulled off a decent GPA and passed all my classes and managed full credits for them, I'd still end up short. He did try to give me some options, but... See? There you go! I don't know if they'll do any good, Mom. It's an intro art class and a creative writing class. He even said they're basically filler. It sounds like it's something you should try, don't you think? You could easily tackle either of those. I've never been good at that kind of stuff. You know that. You can only give your best shot. I think that's more than enough. You've been through harder trials in your life, and you've overcome those and you're so much stronger for it. What this means is that there's hope.
I'll do my best. Sorry for putting you through this. Honey, you don't need to apologize. I know there's a lot going on. I know you're doing what you can. You always have me on your side. Your advisor wants you to succeed too. That's why he gave you this option. I know you can do this. I'll see you at work in a couple of days. We can talk about this more there, okay? I know it's easier said than done, but try not to stress yourself out too much about all this. Maybe you can make yourself something to take your mind off things. It's nearly dinner time after all, so make something nice for yourself. You. Bye, Olive. I love you. Just remember that tomorrow's another day. Love you too. And from there, we will cover the Futurist Movement, which after its founding in 1909... Psst. Hey!
Uh, yes. Caprice, is there something you need? Uh, just excited and ready to learn. Is there something you need? I need you to stay quiet while I'm talking. That's okay with you. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. <laughs> 